name is Sanjit Bhatia and I work as an application consultant for Keysight Technologies. Today I'm going to talk about the latest launch from Keysight in its oscilloscope family, the DSOX 1000 series oscilloscope. The DSOX 1000 series oscilloscope is, is comes in a small form factor and is available from 50 to 100 megahertz bandwidth range. The price of this scope starts at 24,999 rupees only, which is less than the price of some of the smartphones in the market today. In spite of having such a low price, it comes with very powerful features like the custom ASIC technology from Keysight, which includes the WaveGen and the oscilloscope into one system, and the MegaZoom technology from Keysight, which involves a 50,000 waveform per second update rate. The oscilloscope is also feature packed, containing 28 automatic measurements, a variety of triggers, six instruments in one, including protocol analyzer, oscilloscope, a waveform generator, frequency response analyzer, digital voltmeter and frequency counter. So let's have a look at the demo of this oscilloscope. To start with, I'll do a demo of the frequency response analysis of this uh, oscilloscope. For this, I have connected the output wave gen to a device under test, which is a probe in this case. It has a low pass response of around 5 megahertz. So if we run this analysis, you can see that the oscilloscope injects a frequency waveform into the device under test and sees the response. It also automatically sweeps the frequency and keeps plotting the response of the device under test. So you can get the Bode plot of any passive device in frequency as well as in phase in a fully automatic way at this uh, system. So if you see this red line, this is the low pass filter response of this probe, which is actually a low pass filter at around 5 megahertz. So here we have the result which we can save in a thumb drive. So in the next demo, I'm going to show you another feature of the system, which is the waveform generator. So we will disconnect this and we will just have the BNC cable directly connected from the waveform generator output to the channel one of the oscilloscope. So let's clear this screen and let's start generating some waveforms. The waveform supported includes sine, square, ramp, pulse, DC, noise, etc. Let's generate a sine waveform and let's do an auto scale. Okay. So what you can see on the screen, this is a sine waveform and we could even do some advanced settings like add some modulation to it. So this is a 5 mega sine wave and we will go and add some modulation to it. So we will add an amplitude modulation of uh, around uh, maybe 20 kilohertz to this 5 mega sine signal. So now when we run this, you could see that we are getting a amplitude modulated waveform. You can also add frequency response, uh, frequency modulation as well as FSK type of modulation to the wave generator. So um, the oscilloscope comes with a set of training signals for uh, teaching education labs as well as, as well as a free education kit for teaching undergrad students. The training signals include a variety of signals and we will pick up a signal with an infrequent glitch. So if you do an auto scale, you can see that there is some flickering on the screen, which is more easily visible if I increase this intensity to around 100%. And this flickering in the screen, this occasional flickering in the screen is caused because of an infrequent glitch, which is occurring in the signal. This glitch is easily displayed by the oscilloscope because it has a 50,000 waveform per second update rate. And now we will try to capture this glitch. To capture this glitch, I will simply change the trigger type to pulse width and change the trigger mode to normal as well as define the pulse width to around 2 microseconds. Okay. So you can see now we are triggering on the glitch and we are able to capture this glitch on the oscilloscope thing. We could capture a variety of glitches. We could capture more number of glitches by using a mode called segmented memory. So I'll change this mode from a normal to segmented and we will try to capture 10 of these glitches. So now this oscilloscope is only capturing the data whenever there is a glitch and it is storing only the relevant data around the glitch. So we are at segment 9 and now we have captured all the 10 glitches. If you browse through the glitches, you can see that each glitch is occurring around one second gap. Right. 
So we will have a look at another signal now, another which is a CAN signal. So I'll change the signal to the CAN signal, which CAN being an automotive bus for displaying the protocol decode capabilities of the oscilloscope. So now you can see on this uh, screen, we have a CAN signal and this CAN signal is in terms of the CAN packets. If you go and turn on the protocol decode feature of the scope and choose the CAN bus, you can see that the, there is a decode which comes up on the lower part of the screen. So it displays the waveform as well as the protocol decode on the same screen and it does the analysis of the different packets as well. Uh, we, we could also set up a protocol based trigger so we can change the trigger type to a CAN bus and change the trigger to start of frame thereby run so we can stably trigger on the start of frame of the CAN bus. So this oscilloscope not only contains a waveform generator and oscilloscope of frequency response analyzer but also a very flexible protocol analyzer in addition to a inbuilt DVM as well as a frequency counter in a very small form factor and at a very attractive price. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to our channel.